This circuit question seems easy, but there's a little trick to it. So here you have a, a bunch of components connected to a battery of negligible internal resistance. Oh, I love this. Makes life easier. The resistance of the variable resistor is increased. Ooh, this is called a change in a circuit. What is the effect on the reading on the voltmeter V and the ammeter A? Let's look at the changes to the voltmeter first. So, well, if you didn't know, if the battery has 12 volts, these 12 volts will be the same across this parallel line, which is only one resistor. And this entire line will have a potential difference of 12 volts because everything in parallel, all 12. But notice, we are trying to measure V across one of the resistor only. So if I call this, let me give them names. One, two, and three. Resistor one, resistor, resistor three. So if I say this one take out two volts, means this other fella will take 10 volts. They have to add up to be 12 because 12 is the maximum they can have. So they are taking share. And the, the amount of PD they take depends on the ratio of their uh, resistance. So what happens when you have this fella's resistance increasing and this fella is still the same resistance? So you, I'll lay out the steps for you. Number one, if we're thinking of voltage, potential difference, when the resistance increase, that means the potential difference across the first resistor will also increase. So this thing, this amount will increase. Why? Because the larger resistance it has, the more of the share it will take, more potential difference it will take. So when that one takes more share, what happens to the share that the other fella can have, V2? If V1 has taken more, then V2 have to take less. Depends on the ratio. So V2 decrease. If you're wondering why, that's because V1 plus V2 have to equal to 12. So if one is increasing, the other have to, incre have to decrease. Okay, so this one is decrease. That's what we're saying. We'll say, hmm, it will decrease. So if you go down to the answers, you can already cancel out some stuff. Decrease, ah, decrease. So probably not A, probably not D. Okay, now we come to the interesting one. What is the effect on the ammeter? What is the ammeter measuring? It is measuring the current flowing through this resistor tree on the right side. So how does the, how does the resistance change? Now, let me show you one way not to do it. A lot of times, people will say, Oh, miss, if the resist, uh, if the current, what do you call this? Ah, if the resistance increase, what happened to the total circuit resistance? Total circuit resistance will increase, oh? Means total current will increase. And then you say, oh, increase, ah. so I choose increase. And then maybe people will circle this. But actually, that is wrong. You cannot say this. Why? Let's go back to our steps of reasoning here. Look carefully. If R increase, total R increase, that's correct. Total current will increase, that's correct. But, but, total current is referring to this I right here current through the battery but then when you come to a junction it will split this current I call it current A current B oh so total current will increase but what about current through B or I3 I should call it man I call it like IB la. so what happened to IB will it increase or decrease you really don't know so this is not a very good way to come to a conclusion because you have a lot of questions here and it's not very good. So the best way to do it actually is to think of it this way. You have a 12 volt across this resistor. Correct? Did that change when your R on this side change? Is it still 12 volts? It's still 12 volts. Nothing changed on this line. So the reasoning is if the potential difference across three is unchanged, mm, and how about the resistance of 3? Did it change? No, it was resistance 1 that changed. So R3 is also unchanged. So what must be the current? Therefore, I3 is also unchanged. The current through resistor 3 is unchanged. So although your total circuit resistance is changing, I3 over here 
no change. So the emitter will read no change. This one, no change, no change. So the best answer actually is C. A lot of people might choose B because they think, oh, it will increase. Okay, so be careful, ah. Uh. It's harder to think from the method one because like current increase, but then current decrease, but then because the resistance here increased, so more current will flow to the other branch. So you really don't know whether it increase or decrease. So that's not a very good method. This method one is not a good way to come to a conclusion. Method two, much more reliable because you know for sure this unchanged, that unchanged, therefore current unchanged. Okay, so that's this question, MCQ for question 36. See you in the next video talking about more questions.